welcome to the group theory lecture uh, 14 so we recall in this lecture we call permutation group which we have already seen in in the unit 1 so let us uh, begin with uh, recalling so if s is a set s is a set x1 x2 and let us say xn then what is as as is the set of one one function from s to s so and let sigma be in as sigma in as then sigma we can write what sigma is we have sigma of x1 and then sigma of x2 and so on we have last sigma of xn we have so n images so all this will be distinct because sigma is 1 1 onto function so let us uh, call it x i 1 we don't know what is uh, image of x 1 in general so it is one of this x i 1 and uh, this will be x i 2 and so on x i n where i 1 i 2 x i 1 x i 2 x i n all are distinct and uh, so in sigma is a function from uh, actually sigma is a function from s s to s 1 1 and 1 2 it's a bijective function and uh, in general sigma of x k is written as x i k for k equals to 1 2 up to n so there are n elements it will have n images but sigma we can write in uh, a permutation symbol also that we have seen so here if we have x1 x2 and xn then sigma can be written as uh, x i1 image of x1 is x i1 or first let let me write this as uh, sigma of x1 x1 goes to sigma x2, x2 image is sigma x2 and so on so the, we have sigma xn and so this we can write as x1 x2 xn this will be x i1 x i2 x i n right so this is uh, permutation in particular as we have seen uh, these are n uh, elements in s s is a finite set in general s is not a finite set and we have uh, functions one 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 two function on infinite set also but uh, if s is finite and it, it has n elements then we we call it in, we, we write this denote this by s n if uh, it is finite so in particular if we i mean we denote s n for x1 x2 xn instead of x1 x2 xn we take a 1 to n so in particular if uh, if s equals 2 it is not necessary again i am saying that we we must have 1 to n only for sn we can call this also as sn this one but uh, in particular if uh, this are the elements of s then we write sigma s sigma equals to so 1 2 up to n and the year will be image of 1 sigma of 1 sigma of 2 and sigma of n which will be which will be among this only so it is a permutation so it will permute this so let us say 1 goes to i1 i2 i n so i1 i2 i n are distinct n elements right so this is uh, what we have seen permutation and uh, another way of writing this is uh, we also write the Hurstian symbol sometimes we denote by this uh, 1 sigma 2 sigma as we see that uh, Hurstian uh, applies the argument from the left and the operator or the map from the right hand side so this is also same as uh, sometimes we write like this so n sigma is nothing but it is sigma of n and then uh, we have seen um, that uh, composition of two functions so that means a product of two permutations so how do we define product so let n belongs to n and suppose we have two permutations sigma and psi in sn uh, then the product is defined as uh, product we have two products psi o sigma and sigma o psi so let us consider psi o sigma psi composition sigma is defined as it's a they are functions so we have composition uh, 
it is a group under uh, composition so we write this and we, we here also we write sigma belongs to Sn which is nothing but As so is defined S uh, psi O sigma so we write uh, psi composition sigma so as, as, as we have seen this is just a revision of what we have seen psi composition sigma of 1 we will have that is psi of uh, sigma of 1 similarly psi composition sigma of 2 we have which is psi of uh, sigma of 2 so first sigma is applied so we see the image of 1 where 1 goes 1 goes to sigma of 1 and then we see the image of sigma 1 where it goes it goes to psi of sigma of 1 so this is the process so when we write them as product in, in, in terms of permutation so we write whatever the first thing is applied we write it uh, first so sigma is applied uh, first here so we write sigma on the left see here sigma is on the right but uh, sigma is applied first so first we see the image of 1 where 1 goes sigma of 1 and then we see where sigma 1 goes under psi so we write sigma first so this is uh, psi o sigma this is same as uh, so sigma we write on the left sigma psi so either write composition like this or write like this if you write sigma psi that means sigma is applied first it is psi o sigma if you write uh, psi first then psi is applied first or you write this not both so if you want to mean psi o sigma you can write this or write psi composition sigma don't write psi sigma psi sigma will be uh, will will be different will be the other way right? so psi sigma and then uh, sorry sigma psi psi composition sigma and then we write this as uh, so here we write 1 and so we have like this 1 then 1 goes to sigma 1 then 2 we have 2 goes to sigma 2 and then n we have n goes to sigma n so this is uh, sigma we have written and then here we have 1 2 up to n we will have uh, psi 1 psi 2 psi n so we write like this and then we take the product how do we take the product so 1 goes to here you can see 1 goes to sigma 1 and then whatever the sigma 1 will be one of this sigma 1 will be one of this sigma 1 and where sigma 1 is sent that is psi o sigma uh, of 1 right so this is uh, how we write So we have 1 and 1 goes to psi of sigma of 1. This is the product how it is defined psi of sigma of 2 and so on n goes to psi of sigma of n. So yeah this is the revision part of uh, whatever we have learned in the first unit about permutation. So now uh, we define um, before, before giving definition let us uh, consider example so let me consider uh, the same example which uh, we had considered in the class so this is an uh, element of s7 and uh, the example which we have considered was 1, 2, 4. So 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 4 and 4 goes to 1. 3 goes to 6, 6 goes to 5, 5 goes to 3 and 7 to 7. Yes. So this was the example which we have considered. And now uh, we take any one element and uh, take the powers of uh, theta. So from this what we can say if I take theta power 0 theta power of 0 of 1 so that will be nothing but uh, it is 1 it is identity so that is 1 then if I take theta of 1 that means theta sends 1 to 2 so theta of 1 so that is uh, 2 then I take uh, so this is theta of 1 is theta power 1 of 1 then I consider theta square of 1 so theta square of 1 means uh, theta of 1 so this is theta of theta of 1 so this is theta of theta of 1 is 2 so this is 4 and if I consider theta cube 1 so apply one once more theta on 4 so theta square of 1 is 4 and so theta cube 1 
so theta of 4 that again we get that 1 so that means uh, it is 1 now take theta power 4 of 1 which is theta of 1 again which is uh, 2 1 goes to 2 theta power 5 of 1 it is uh, theta of 2 which is uh, 4 theta power 6 of 1 which is theta of 4 it is again 1 so theta power 6 is 1 theta power 3 is 1 and as we go on theta power 7 of 1 is again 2 theta power 8 of 1 is again 4 uh, theta power 9 of 1 if you, if you check this so apply theta 1 9 times so theta power 9 of 1 so this will be again 1 so, so theta power 3 is 1 so theta power 6 is also 1 theta power 9 is also 1 and so on so and you can see these are repeated so it, it is cycling 1 2 4 1 2 4 1 2 4 so all these elements um, we consider it as orbit of 1 because we started from 1 right? we started from 1 and uh, so this we consider it as orbit of 1 and we write this orb1 so orbit of 1 is the set 1 2 4 and because it is a set you can also write this as uh, 2 1 4 anything so it is a, it is just a set so what is orbit of one when we we take any uh, so take one apply theta all the powers even the negative powers theta raised to minus one so that also can be done uh, so now let, let us take so what is the cycle of one so the cycle of one will be as you can see cycle of one will be here it one goes to two 2 goes to 4 and then 4 goes to 1 so cycle of 1 is uh, 1 goes to 2 this is how it is read 2 is mapped to 4 4 is back mapped back to 1 if you wanted to start from uh, this say uh, 2 it 2 then so this is same as 2 2 goes to 4 4 goes to 1 and again 1 goes to 2 so 2 goes to 4 4 goes to 1 and then again 1 goes to 2 if you want to start from uh, 4 we can start from 4, 4 goes to 1, as you can see 4 goes to 1, 1 goes to 2 and 2 goes to 4, so repetition, so 4, two, 4, 1, 2. So these are the three ways we can write this, so this is called a 3 cycle, right, so this is called a 3 cycle, this is called this 3 cycle, cycle of length 3, cycle of order 3, so from the orbit we get a cycle, but orbit we can change the order because it is a set so 2 1 4 but cycle we cannot change 2 1 4 2 1 4 means 2 goes to 1 so no that is not the case 2 goes to 4 so here 2 does not go to 1 so orbit it's just a set cycle obtained from orbit it is this right so let us uh, consider another element which is not in this orbit or cycle so we have only covered 1 2 and 4 what about others yeah but before that as you can see what we have here theta power 0 of 1 this is same as theta power 3 of 1 which is same as theta 6 of 1 again theta 9 of 1 and so on so this is these are all 1 and uh, so what is the smallest integer smallest one is 3 so this uh, length with respect to 1 this is 3 Right. So after that it is re repeating as you can see there are three distinct uh, numbers in the cycle. Okay, so what about the rest of the numbers now? So let us uh, take theta again and uh, see the rest of the numbers. So what about uh, 2 is not uh, 1, 2 and 4. So 1, 2 and 4 if I start with 2 let us say let us start with 2. So if I take 2 so what is uh, theta 0 of 2 it is again 2 theta 1 of 2 which is uh, 2 goes to 4 and theta square 2 this is uh, theta of 4 which is 1 theta cube of 2 again you have 2 so again you have the same repetition so here also L2 equals to 3 and what is orbit of 2 orbit of 2 is uh, 2 4 1 or you can also write 1, 4, 2 because uh, it is a set so order does not matter but what is cycle of theta with respect to 2 
so cycle of theta uh, with respect to 2 this is uh, 2 4 1 so again uh, this is same 2 4 1 so this we can write as uh, 4 1 2 also we can write as 1 2 4 so they are same orbit is same in same set cycle is also same so 2 is there similarly 4 is there so let us pick now something which is not there so let us start with 3 3 is not there here so 3 does not belong to this set so let us start with 3 so what is theta of 3 theta 0 of 3 this is 3 we don't apply theta so the identity 3 theta of 3 so that is 6 theta square of 3 so that is nothing but theta of uh, 6 yes and uh, 6 goes to 5 so this is 5 then theta cube of 3 so this is uh, theta of 5 5 goes to 6 uh, have I made mistake theta of 3 is 6 theta square of 3 is theta of 6 6 goes to 5 and uh, no this is not 6 theta of 5 theta of 5 is 3 again right so theta of 5 is 3 so here also you can see that uh, 3 is the smallest integer so that theta of 3 is again 3 positive integer smallest is 0 of course but um, positive integer if we consider uh, natural numbers so 3 is uh, so length of 3 is also 3 what about orbit of 3 all these numbers appearing in this uh, cycle so orbit of 3 orbit of 3 is uh, 3 6 5 or because it is set we can write as 3 5 6 but better keep uh, 3 6 5 or in that order so what is the cycle of 3 cycle of theta uh, with respect to 3 this is uh, 3 goes to 6 6 goes to 5 5 goes to 6 or we can write if you want to start from 6 we can write as 6 5 3 or if you want to write, uh, start from 3 uh, sorry start from 5 we can write as 5 3 6 right so in cyclic order we cannot break the order it is in cyclic order as you can see 3 uh, 6 and 5 so 3 goes to 6 6 goes to 5 and 5 goes to 3 so we start from anywhere in this order anywhere in this order 3 goes to 6 so 3 6 5 or 6 5 3 or 5 3 6 so these are the three ways we cannot change the order we cannot take reverse also so that is also not the correct so this uh, this is how the this three cycle can be written in three different uh, ways right so if you see orbit of 6 it is going to be the same if you see orbit of uh, 5 it is also going to be same so this is nothing but uh, this is same as uh, orbit of 6 this is same this is same as orbit of 5 so they are all same and the cycle also will be same just a different expression of this cycle uh, right so what is not covered now 7 is not covered so what about theta of 7 see if I take theta 0 of 7 this is 7 and theta power 1 of 7 theta of 7 is again 7 theta square 7 is also 7 so orbit of 7 is singleton 7 and the cycle also is corresponding cycle also that is uh, singleton 7 and uh, length is 1 smallest positive integer for such that theta raised to n theta raised to l smallest such l such that theta power l is um, oh, sorry uh, length is 1 theta of 7 is 7 so length is 1 ok so these are the orbits and cycles we have seen by example now what if we multiply all these cycles as we have done in the class so I am not going to describe here but you can try for practice if you have missed the class so we have cycles uh, 1 to 4 this is uh, one of the cycle 1 to 4 or the let us uh, mark me mark here itself where the first cycle is 1 to 4 so 1 to 4 I have taken then another cycle different cycle was 3 6 5 and another cycle was 7 so now what I am going to ask you is to multiply the cycles so I uh, will complete one example so let us uh, multiply 1 to 4 and uh, so by but what do we mean by a cycle first okay I am not given definition I am covering by example so if I want to write the cycle as permutation first of all to multiply the cycles we need uh, 3 6 5 and 7 
So to multiply these cycles, we need to write them as permutations. So now what do I mean by 1 to 4, but permutation 1 to 4? So by 1 to 4, what I mean is uh, it is in S7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 4 and 4 goes to 1. So here also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and again similarly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And uh, yeah, so what about 3, 5, 6? So 3 goes to 5, uh, sorry, 3 goes to 3, 6, 5, 3 goes to 6, 6 goes to 5, 5 again goes to 3. What about 7? 7 goes to 7. So this is 7. So what about other elements? If I want to write express this cycle as permutation, what about other elements? So cycle is what? It, it, it maps uh, 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 1. So that is a cycle, but other elements are identity. So it does not change any, any other element. So here 3 goes to 3, uh, 5 goes to 5, 6 goes to 6, 7 goes to 7. Similarly, 3, 6, 5, 3 will change, 3 will map, be mapped to 6, 6 is mapped to 5, 5 is mapped to 3. All other elements are identity. So we have 1, 2, 4 uh, and 7 as it is. And what about 7 goes to 7? So and uh, all others are identity so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is nothing but this is identity function e so actually you can see the cycle of length 1 or the 1 cycle as we say that is nothing but identity so whether we multiply this or not it does not matter so for a moment let me do not uh, consider this so I, I skip this I multiply this first two only first two Right. So how do we multiply? So this is just multiplication of permutation we know. So I have written this as here and this is this permutation and this is uh, 7. But uh, single cycle 7 is uh, is identity cycle. So whether we multiply or not it does not matter because identity function it will give the same element. So whatever the product of this two will be the product. So uh, how so we write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then take the product so 1 goes to 2 here 2 goes to 2 so finally 1 goes to 2 uh, 2 goes to 4 and 4 goes to 4 so 2 goes to 4 3 goes to 3 3 goes to 6 so 3 goes to 6 uh, 4 goes to 1 1 goes to 1 so 4 goes to 1 5 is mapped to 5 5 is mapped to 3 so 3 so here also 6 is mapped to 6 and then this 6 we look up here and we have 5 so finally what is uh, the thing this 6 is mapped to 5 so image of uh, the 6 we write 5 here so this is how we take the product those who have missed the previous classes previous videos uh, all others know we have done it several times so the image of 6 is 5 6 goes to 6 6 goes to 5 7 goes to 7 in both 7 is mapped to 7 7 is mapped to 7 so this is 7 and what is this uh, 2, 4, 6, 1, 3, 5, 7, which was given by Nero. 2, 4, 6, 1, 3, 5, 7, you can observe. 2, 4, 6, 1, 3, 5, 7. 2, 4, 6, 1, 3, 5, 7. So this is nothing but it is same as theta. So if I multiply cycles of theta, I get theta. Now, uh, what happens if, we, if I write... Uh, this way 3 6 5 and uh, 1 2 4 right so if i write this way 3 6 5 1 2 4 what should i get what is expected i should get again theta so i ask you to verify this we have done in the class but those who are seeing for the first time multiply like this and verify that you get again theta so that means uh, this two cycle commutes the order does not matter right they commute they can be interchanged here so this these two cycles can commute and uh, we can omit this single cycle because it is going to be identity any any single cycle not even single 7 if i have suppose s8 if i have single 8 that is again uh, identity because that will be 1 2 3 and uh, up to 8 and that will also give uh, 8 goes to 8 and all others are identity so it is again identity so single cycles are any anyway identity so we, we may omit them by multiplying 
and uh, these two are as you can observe these two are disjoint cycles so the one two four are here three four six there is no common number in between there and they can be interchanged and we get the same uh, theta so that means theta is a product of uh, all its cycles and uh, what about two four one what is two four one two four one is uh, how do i write one two three four five six seven as I said, you can write uh, 2 goes to 4, 4 goes to 1, and 1 goes to 2. So 3, 5, 6, 7, and you can observe this 2, 4, 1 is nothing but it is the same thing here. Yeah, so that means it is same as uh, 1, 2, 4. This is same as uh, 4, 1, 2, in the same order as I said. If uh, we write them in the cyclic order, then it is fine. So 1, 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 4 and 4 again goes to 1. So in this order, uh, start from anywhere. Right? Start from anywhere, you can start from uh, 1, so you have 1, 2, 4, you can start from 2, so you have 2, 4, 1 in the same order and 4, 4, 1, 2. So I can write uh, theta as this also. Theta equals to, instead of uh, writing 1, 2, 4 and 3, 6, 5, I can write theta as uh, 2, 4, 1, 3, 6, 5. I can write theta as uh, 1, 2, 4, 3, 6, 5. If I want to put 7, I can as well as put 7 also. There is no problem because 7 is just identity. And I can write this as 3, 6, 5, 1, 2, 4, 7. Or I can write this as uh, 3, 6, 5, 1, 2, 4. So there are several ways I can write. Or I can change this as, uh, I, I can start this from 5. So 5. 5 then 3 and then 6 same order remember order I am not changing and then 1 to 4 so all this if you multiply uh, writing this as permutation like this in this example if you multiply these are all the expressions of theta so when you multiply cycles of theta we get theta and not only that this is not unique expression why it is not unique there are there are three ways the expression is not unique up to so the, this our expression is unique up to expression of theta Theta is a product of its cycles. Is unique up to it is unique, but uh, except this thing as these three things. So first is uh, what uh, so changing the order of cycles. So change changing the order of cycles. Uh, this is because as two disjoint cycles commute, two disjoint. So this I have not uh, covered yet, but you can take examples. You take examples, these are commuting as we can see, as you verify here, we have theta. So they are disjoint because three, here we have 3, 6, 5, here we have 1, 2, 4. So they are disjoint, there is no common number. But if you take any example with some number common, it will not, uh, it may not commute. And uh, so, if they are disjoint, cycles of theta will be disjoint. We are going to prove this. This we have considered using just an example. So so far nothing is proved, but we are understanding orbit cycle uh, product of uh, cycles will give us theta. Uh, one cycle is identity. Uh, what is order of cycle and all? So we are just considering by example. So disjoint cycles commute. So we can interchange the order of cycles and uh, uh, expressing a cycle in a different way so expressing a cycle in different way you know 1 2 4 can be written as uh, 2 4 1 4 1 2 and so on so that that is also there we, we, we have changed the cycle is same but still we have changed here and uh, then omitting omitting cy cycles of length 1. So except these three ways, uh, the product is unique. So all this uh, we have seen by example and now we define, uh, we begin with the definition. And we prove or see these results. So first uh, we define 
for any set so let s be any set and uh, theta belongs to a s right? the example we have seen for finite so in s n but in general it is in a s and uh, for any a b for any two numbers for any a b belongs to s uh, we write I think in the Google Meet I had given another way, but let us uh, let me write here. So it is uh, a congruent to b, but here we write suffix theta. So a congruent to b with respect to this uh, whatever the function we have chosen theta in a s. Uh, if b equals to a theta power i for some. I belongs to z right a theta power i means so that is uh, that is b equals to theta power i of a so theta of a theta square theta cube and so on theta power 0 theta power minus 1 a so it is uh, theta power i of a for some i so this is n as this is Hurstian notation so he writes uh, in this order but we use this notation our standard notation so we say that a is congruent to b if b can be written as theta power i of a for some uh, for some i i in uh, integer so zero negative also negative powers are also so with this definition so uh, what we have to verify that this is a relation a and b, b are related a is related to b or a is congruent to b uh, if this thing holds b equals to theta power i of a so what next is the result that we have to prove that this is an equivalence relation so the lemma which we have done in the class so given theta belongs to a s given theta belongs to a s the relation congruence this congruence with respect to theta is uh, an equivalence relation So since we have already done in the class, right? Uh, should I leave as exercise? Or otherwise, this video will be so much longer. So let me leave this as exercise. So only three things you have to verify: reflexive, which is easy. Theta power zero of a is a, and uh, then symmetric, a congruent to b mod theta. Then take the minus power, so that will be symmetric and the transitivity also in the similar way i plus j may be so i leave this as exercise it's a very easy exercise to verify that this relation is a congruence relation nevertheless i am giving the written proof in in uh, i have done in this in the google meet class also and my written proof also will be there in the typed notes which i'll be giving you soon so this is an equivalence relation right now if uh, s is a finite set so after equivalence relation uh, okay before that uh, equivalence class so once we have a relation what is the equivalence class so this definition the equivalence class and then we'll relate this with an example so let uh, theta belongs to as and s be some element of s the equivalence class then we have the relation equivalence class means all those elements which are uh, equivalent to S. So the equivalence class of S with respect to the relation. So they are congruent to all those elements which are congruent to S with respect to the relation theta is. So if I want to write the equivalence class of A, if we denote this by S bar or this, this is what uh, all those elements. So on S we have an equivalence relation. So all those elements of S, all those elements of S, which are uh, equivalent to to S, all those elements which are equivalent to small s. Okay. So this is denoted by. So we call this as orbit. So is orbit of S. An orbit of S 
equivalent to s means what what do we mean by this equivalent to s means uh, all those uh, t so that t is uh, so that s is congruent to t but if s is congruent to t what is the relation if a is congruent to b then what is how do b looks b looks like theta power i of a so that means if uh, s is congruent to t all those t so that s is congruent to t so this will look like so this is nothing but uh, s which is uh, theta power 0 of s then uh, theta 1 s theta square s all these elements so these are called orbit this is called orbit the equivalence class theta minus 1 of s for all i belongs to z so all these negative powers are also there theta minus 2 and all one other way of writing this is uh, we write s then s theta s theta square and so on if we write in the Hurston notation so this is s theta inverse then we have s theta raised to minus 2 and so on so this is uh, called the orbit orbit of s under theta right so this is called the orbit of s under theta and so all these are elements of uh, this set s right so if uh, s is finite then what happens if s is finite then all these are this is not an infinite set anymore if s is finite all this there will be re repetition right if s is finite there will be a repetition and so we have s theta s theta square s theta cube s and so on there will be some integer l which depends on s so the theta power l of s equals to s again back s so if uh, s is a finite set then show that so this is another exercise uh, if s is a finite set if s is a finite set theta belongs to a s so that will be nothing but s n and s belongs to s then there exists then there exists uh, a smallest positive integer l of course this l depends on s whatever s we have taken so l depends on s l of s uh, such that such that uh, theta power l of s equals to again s or the other way of writing or uh, in other notation if you want to write uh, in the notation of Hurston then s theta power l is again s so you get back s again and also, also all these elements are distinct also all the elements if l is the smallest then that means all the elements s uh, s theta s theta square up to s theta power l minus 1 are distinct theta power l minus 1 so theta power l is again s so all these are distinct so right what is orbit so we have a relation a and b are related if uh, a can b can be written as some power of a under theta so then a and b are related and under theta so this is an equivalence relation easy exercise to verify three properties and what is equivalence class so all those elements t which are congruent so s is congruent to t but if s is congruent to t t can be written as some power of uh, uh, theta of s so that is uh, this set this set and all these are elements because theta is a function from s to s theta is a function from s to s and therefore all these elements are subset of s so if s is finite in general we have considered a s and s be any set in general it is any set and we have considered theta in s but in, in in particular if s is finite then there is going to be repetition s theta s theta square s if you keep on this because s is finite this is not an infinite set anymore and therefore there is some integer l which is the exercise there is some integer l which depends on s so that uh, theta power l of s is and that, that is the smallest that is what we have to prove so s s theta of s theta square of s up to theta power l minus 1 of s they are all distinct and then theta power l of s is this now we relate this with an what we have seen 
orbit we have already defined so you, you can easily relate but let us go back uh, from where we started the example so this was the theta which we had considered in s7 and now uh, you see if i take small s equals to 1 in s so s has uh, 1 2 3 up to 7 the 7 elements then what is the orbit of 1 orbit of 1 that is equivalence class so how what 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 are the elements which are equivalent to 1 so i can write 2 is uh, equivalent to 1 uh, or 1 is equivalent to 2 as per in the definition because uh, why since uh, 2 equals to theta of 1 I can also write 4 is uh, 1 is equivalent to 4 uh, not 2 but 1 is equivalent to 4 why because 4 equals to theta square of uh, 1 as you can see theta square of 1 is 4 so 1 2 and 4 they are all equivalent and this equivalence class is nothing but orbit so this is the equivalence class which is orbit of uh, orbit of 1 right under theta with respect to theta this is orbit of 1 orbit of 2 is also going to be same because equivalence class and they are disjoint as you can see all with orbits are disjoint and as a result cycles are also disjoint this is a cycle which is coming from the orbit which is the cyclic order so cycles are also disjoint so you know, orbit we have seen and uh, two elements in the same orbit because it's an equivalence class so they are going to be in the same class so they will have the same orbit as it is an equivalence class they will have the same cycle order may be different I mean the writing expression may be different so this we have seen so finite set this is done so if s is a finite set then what does uh, orbit can look like if s is finite set this definition can be uh, rewritten in terms of uh, rephrased because this set will be finite so it can be written as now so I write definition So let S be a finite set. And theta belongs to AS. So now because it is a finite set, if it has any elements, this is AS is nothing but it is A N, but uh, sorry, S N. But we are just uh, writing in general AS, then the orbit of S under theta, then the orbit of s sorry s in s under theta is the set of consists of elements so then what will be the orbit of s under theta it will be set of elements s theta of s theta square s how far so theta power l minus 1 of s and there will be some l so what is this l it is by above exercise there is some smallest so l l is uh, the smallest positive integer such that theta power l of s this is again s so here we are we are writing l in this above example so you see l of 3 is 3 so theta cube of 3 is again 3 l of uh, 2 is also here uh, 3 so when we start from 2 theta power 0 of 2 is 2 but 0 we don't count we count positive integer theta 1 of 2 is 4 theta square is 1 theta cube of 2 is 2 again we get uh, 2 so this l is this is the smallest and so what is orbit orbit is 2 then theta of 2 that is 4 theta q square of uh, 2 that is 1 and then theta cube which is again 2 so s theta s theta square s up to theta power l minus 1 of s so that l is the smallest positive integer then the orbit will look like this and from the orbit we get this cycle every time we are getting this cycle as we have seen in the example so by a cycle of theta by a cycle of theta uh, we mean an ordered set so by a cycle of theta we mean an order set what is order set this is the order set s then theta of s so this is nothing but theta of s i am writing in this s theta that is theta of s only then theta square of s so i can write this as s theta square and so on s theta power l minus 1 so by a cycle of theta we mean this ordered set 
right for some s belongs to belongs to s and l is a natural number so this is a cycle of theta corresponding to s we start from s so cycle of 1 here in the example in this example cycle of 1 1 goes to 2 2 goes to 4 4 goes to 1 and then again repetition so that 1 2 4 so that is a cycle so this is uh, the cycle of 1 right so cycle of theta with respect to 1 then there is another cycle of theta so here we had found three uh, cycles of theta 3 6 5 that is another cycle and the third one is uh, the 7 so by a cycle of theta with respect to s uh, we mean this set so it comes from the orbit because orbits are equivalence classes equivalence classes we know they are either identical or disjoint so the cycles are also disjoint so this is if i take another cycle if i take some s dash so i will have s dash then theta of uh, s dash or if i want to write in the same notation s dash theta s dash theta square and so on there will be some k so that s dash theta power k right so for that it will be k so that will be the another cycle and they will be disjoint and so they will commute so the disjoint cycles come in. yeah so if we know so the remark is if we know one all cycles of theta then if we know all the cycles of theta then uh, we know the image of then we know the image of all elements see if you know all cycles of theta so in the previous case we know 1 2 4 3 6 5 and 7 so then we know all the image of all image of all the elements of s 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 where 2 will be mapped will be map, uh, sorry 2 will be mapped to 4 where 6 will be mapped 6 will be mapped to 5 what about 7 7 is mapped to 7 so if we know all cycles of theta then we know the image of uh, all elements of s under theta where in theta send an element of s we know if we know all the cycles if one cycle is missing then we cannot tell about those elements if you know all the cycles then so uh, one thing to note so each uh, since each cycle each cycle is an ordered set it's an ordered ordered set or ordered tuple uh, of elements of in equivalence class of uh, elements of uh, an equivalence class which is orbit cycle is coming from orbit but in the order set equivalence class because because of this we can say that the cycles of theta are disjoint so different cycles of theta they are disjoint right so cycle of 1 is same as cycle of 2 but that is one cycle 1 2 4 then another cycle 3 6 5 another cycle is 7 so theta has three cycles so 1 2 4 3 6 5 and then 7 so they are all disjoint so if you consider the cycle of 1 this is same cycle of 2 is also same but that is not that is just one cycle of theta 1 2 4 with respect to 1 or with respect to 2 or with respect to 4 another cycle of theta is 3 6 5 another cycle of theta is 7 right so cycles are disjoint and we have also seen uh, another way of uh, writing cycle as a permutation so again if i want to define if i i can define this uh, writing the cycle as permutation so by let s be a finite set so by a cycle in as by a cycle in so cycles are nothing but they are elements of as only they are permutations so by a cycle in as we mean a permutation we mean an ordered set ordered set let us write i1 i2 ir uh, where what, what what are these elements where i1 i2 they are all elements of uh, s for some R in N 
and this uh, cycle can be can be considered as a permutation or is a permutation it's a permutation what kind of permutation which which maps which maps uh, i1 to i2 i2 to i3 and so on which maps uh, i r minus 1 to i r then what about i r i r 2 again i r goes back to i 1 so this uh, cycle can be also as we have seen in example cycle can be considered as permutation so we can now multiply two cycles because we know how to multiply two permutations which is where we started the lecture product of two permutations which was already seen also earlier so then this is i i r is mapped to i 1 and what about the remaining ones so for one one onto function we need to know the image of all the elements of s we know only elements only this much elements of s so remaining ones are identity and uh, and a to a for all a which are not in this so for all a which is not uh, in i1 i2 i r so if a is not among this then it is a uh, fixed identity so cycle can also be uh, considered as uh, a permutation and there are examples also uh, given in my notes so i think we have started with one example so i no more examples are required unnecessarily extending this lecture you can see other examples so this is very easy concept so again a remark that uh, we have seen the cycle the r cycle this is an R cycle, I1, I2, I R because there are R elements. It can be written in R different ways. So this is a cycle as we have seen above. Can be written R different ways as yes, this is the same cycle which can be written in R different ways. So we have the first way I1, I2, I R, then we have if we start from i2 this is i2 i3 up to then uh, comes i r and then i r comes after i1 and so if you want to start from i r so i r then i1 i2 up to i r minus 1 i r minus 1 again goes to it. so these are r different ways r different ways to write uh, the same cycle So they are all the same. Right? This already we have seen, and uh, this is a cycle. Uh, the length of cycle is r. Because there are r elements, or we call it as an r cycle, or we call it as an r cycle. And we also say, we also say that uh, the cycle has order R. It has order R. Why it has order R? See if I can consider this cycle as uh, psi. Suppose this psi is the same uh, cycle. Then what is psi of uh, I1? Psi of I1 is I2. What is psi square of i1? Psi square of i1 is uh, psi of i2 which is i3. And similarly if I keep going on, what about uh, psi r of i1? Psi r of i1. So if I apply psi once it is i2, then it is i3, then i i r and then again I get uh, back i1. So it has length. So all elements, similarly psi of i2 is i3 i3 psi square of i2 is a uh, psi of i3 which is i4 i3 goes to i4 and so on if i consider psi r of i2 it is going to be i2 so if i take r times any element it is going to give me back the same cycle so we can consider that uh, it has uh, order r right it will be identity so Considering all these elements, it will be identity. For example, 
you can consider one of the this cycle so for example one to four this we are considered in the class one to four multiply with one to four uh, what you are getting check check this as permutation and then uh, apply what you are uh, first you can write this as permutation one two three four five six seven so let me do one one example here so that you can learn the product also directly so one to four this is a th three cycle it has length three so we call it as three cycle but the order is also three whatever the length that is same as order because uh, if i want to multiply so there is another way so we write this as permutation one to seven one to seven and then we multiply this to permutation so let us do both ways so uh, let us write this as uh, permutation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Again, this write same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right? So, these are permutation 1 to 4. So, 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 4, 4 goes to 1. 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 4, 4 goes to 1. All others are identity 3, 5, uh, 6, 7. 3, 5, 6, 7. And uh, now we multiply this two. So what do we get? So if we multiply this, uh, so one goes to two, and two goes to four. So one goes to four, two goes to four, four goes to one. So two goes to one. three goes to three, three goes to three, three is same. Four goes to one, one goes to two. So this is two. 5 goes to 5, 5 goes to 5, so this is 5, 6 to 6, 6 to 6, okay, 7 to 7, 7 to 7, so this is this. So what is this cycle? This is the same cycle which uh, 1 goes to 4, 4 goes to 2, and 2 goes to 1. So see the order has changed, so it is not the same element, 1 to 4, so 1 to 4 square, 1 to 4 square, so this is this. So we can multiply as uh, by writing them as permutations. Not only that, we can directly multiply them. So this is how we do. So start from here, 1. So 1 goes to 2 here and then 2 goes to 4 here. So ultimately 1 goes to 4. Same thing again. Read from this, 1 goes to 2. Even if 1 is not there, then consider 1 as identity. 1 goes to 1. So 1 goes to 2 and then 2 goes to 4. So finally the image of 1, here it will be 4. So this is the 4. Right, again, uh, what about 2? So 2 goes to 4 here, then see the image of 4. 4 goes to 1, so 2 goes to 1. So ultimate image is 1. Now 3. 3 is not here. So 3 is not here, but we know this cycle. If the element is not there, it is identity. So 3 is not here, the 3 is identity. Uh, sorry, what did I remove? So 2 goes to 4, 4 goes to 2, and uh, 2 goes to 4, 4 goes to 1. So this is 2 goes to 1. This I now what about 3? So 3 is identity, 3 goes to 3 here and 3 goes to 3 here. So 3 is uh, fixed. So 3 goes to 3. And uh, what about 4? Four? 4 goes to 1 here, 1 goes to 2. So 4 goes to 2. What about 5? Five? 5 five goes to 5, 5 goes to 5 in both. So this is 5. 6 is not there. So 6 will go to 6 in first, 6 will go to 6 in second and 7 is also not there. So what is this? This is nothing but uh, 1 goes to 4. 4 goes to 2 and 2 goes to 1. So this is the cycle and you can see this is the same. Right? So there is a, you write the cycles as a permutations, multiply the permutation. We know how to multiply permutations. And uh, there is a shortcut way. Instead of writing this as permutation and multiplying them, what we can do is uh, we directly multiply these two cycles. But always start from the left. Start from 1. If 1 is not there, consider 1 goes to 1. So that is uh, the technique. Right, so 1 to 4 square, we have 1, 4, 2. Now, what about 1 to 4 cube? So, 1 to 4 cube. This will be, so 1 to 4 and uh, 1 to 4 square I can write. So, I can write 1 to 4, well, 1 to 4 square already we have completed, 1, 4, 2. Now, if we multiply this, it will be easier. So no need to write them as permutation. We can just directly multiply. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And you can check. So 1 goes to 2. 
2 goes to 1 so 1 goes to 1 2 goes to 4 here 4 goes to 2 so 2 goes to 2 3 is not there so 3 is fixed 4 4 goes to 1 in the first one 1 goes to 4 so 4 is again back to 4 5 is not there 6 is not there 7 is not there so this is nothing but it is identity permutation so this is not only a cycle of length 3 it, we call it a cycle of length 3 as a 3 cycle but it is also of order 3 that means it's a permutation if i call this as psi if i call this as psi then psi cube equals to identity so this is a cycle of order r it's an r cycle cycle of order r cycle of length r because there are three elements okay having done this uh, order of cycle we we know what are disjoint cycles so the definition can be given uh, disjoint cycles So what are called disjoint cycles? Suppose we have two cycles i1, i2 up to let us say i r and we have uh, another cycles j1, j2. We know what are disjoint cycles. There should not be any element common. So j t and they are disjoint. If uh, none of this element i r, they are disjoint if uh, i k is not equal to j p. Right? None of this i k is equal to j p and there is no element common. So for uh, all k equals to 1 2 up to r none of this i r is uh, i 1 i 2 i r is this j so for p equals to 1 2 up to uh, t right so there they are disjoint cycles now finally uh, we prove the result that uh, if you multiply the cycles see if we multiplied the cycles of theta here uh, as we have seen there were three cycles of theta in the example so 1 to 4 uh, 3, 6, 5 and 7. So you multiply them and you can see we got theta. Multiply them in any order we get theta. So this is uh, the final result which we are proving and then we stop. So the lemma. Every permutation is a product of its cycles. We have done up to here in the class as well. Every permutation is a product of its the cycles are disjoint 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 cycles and we know that uh, this product is not unique uh, it is unique up to the three uh, different ways of expressing the same uh, permutation so well, let us prove this so let uh, theta be a permutation and uh, psi be the product of its uh, disjoint cycles or product of its cycles right so what is theta so for example uh, theta is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 the example we had considered above uh, 1 goes to 2 2 goes to 4 4 goes to 1 3 goes to 6 6 to 5 5 to uh, 3 and then 7 to 7 so this is theta what is psi what is psi is this 1 2 4 product of its cycles 3 6 5 and 7 so psi is this what we have to show the psi is nothing but if you multiply the same uh, this three permutations what we get is this is theta so this is same this is what we want to show so theta is this permutation psi is the product of its all cycles these are cycles of theta and what we have to show is uh, this is same. So uh, these are one one and on two functions. So when when do we say that the functions are same? We say that functions are same if the their image is same at every element of s. S is nothing but one two three four five six seven. So at every element their image is same. If we show that, then we are done. On one side we have permutation. On the other side we have a product of cycles, and they are going to be same. So the cycles of theta for any s in s. For any s in s, uh, the cycle of theta is of the form. The cycle of uh, theta is of the form. Uh, it will be like this: s, s theta, s theta square, theta square s, and then theta power l minus one of s uh, for some l in n. n is the smallest integer such that this so cycle are of this form. 
and uh, since cycles are uh, coming from equivalence classes we know they are disjoint so since uh, so the word in such a cycle is an equivalence class is an equivalence which is coming from an equivalence class uh, of s so cycle of s is an equivalence class of s so all these elements are equivalent to theta s that is uh, equivalent with respect to theta equivalent to s theta square s any theta power i of s is equivalent to s so since the cycle such a cycle is an equivalence class of s uh, all the cycles all the cycles of uh, theta are 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 disjoint so they are disjoint so because uh, they are disjoint if i take any member s dash it is going to be exactly in one of the cycle so now we shall show that as as i said we shall show that psi equals to theta so for that let s uh, dash belongs to s so s dash is some uh, uh, some member of s some number 1 to n whatever that uh, finite set s is so what we show psi of s dash is same as theta of s dash but because the cycles are disjoint s dash is exactly in one of the cycle of theta since uh, cycles of theta are disjoint s dash is uh, in exactly one cycle of theta right it is not uh, in any other cycle because they are equivalence class their union is whole s so it is covered s, s dash is in exactly one equivalence class and it is going to be in one and exactly one it is not going to appear in any, any other this other equivalence class so it is in exactly in one so hence the image of s dash Hence, the image of s dash. If it is in exactly one, only that cycle is going to affect s dash. No other cycles in the product is going to affect s dash. Hence, the image of uh, s dash uh, under theta is same as whatever the as theta will send s dash wherever. Same thing that cycle is going to do. No others are no other cycles uh, beyond that are going to affect or previous cycles are going to affect s dash. So the product is going to be same so the image of uh, uh, s dash on the theta is same as the image of s dash under the product same as the image of uh, s dash under the product product is uh, psi product psi of all disjoint cycles product of all disjoint uh, cycles of theta So hence uh, we say that uh, theta and uh, psi have the same effect on all elements of S. So hence theta and psi, S this is arbitrary. So hence theta and psi will have the same effect on the elements of S. on all the elements of s right so for any any element theta and uh, psi will have the same effect and and so so uh, theta equals to psi right so every every permutation can be written as product of cycles and now uh, finally i end with uh, some exercises as i did in, in the in the google class so compute this 1 2 1 3 these are cycles of length 2 2 cycles 1 4 right what what about this what about this 2 uh, 3 product 2 4 2 1 what about this and also compute uh, 2 1 2 3 2 4 Right, so this uh, find the permutation in S4.
do this and then we'll meet again in the next class for further. I hope uh, this lecture was recorded in breaks. So I hope this was uh, clear and uh, no further doubts you have. Okay, thank you.